ETF highlight, TQQQ, GDX, SMH, GDXJ, SKYY. Hi everyone live. The five ETFs we will explain today are, TQQQ, GDX, SMH, GDXJ, SKYY. Please note that this analysis is based on the latest data and is subject to change. Investors should always do their own research before making any investment decisions here. 1. TQQQ How has TQQQ performed according to technical data? Technical signals and analysis here. TQQQ's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 60. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of TQQQ is 94%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time, and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook here The probability of TQQQ share price rising is 56.9%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, TQQQ has four bullish signals and two bearish signals. TQQQ's short-term support level is 57.4. If it falls below 57.4 during the session, it will have a chance to test 55.6. TQQQ's short-term resistance level is 61.8. If it breaks through 61.8 during the session, it will look up to 64.9. 2. GDX GDX, analyzing the US market with technical indicators ear. Technical signals and analysis ear. GDX's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 43. When the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of GDX is 23%. It indicates that the stock is experiencing a strong downtrend and strong selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal may indicate that a stock is hitting a temporary bottom, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the trend will reverse immediately. Trend Outlook here GDX has a 48.7% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, GDX has two bullish signals and five bearish signals. GDX's short-term support level is 25.8. If it falls below 25.8 during the session, it will have a chance to test 25.3.
GDX's short-term resistance level is 27.2. If it breaks through 27.2 during the session, it will look up to 28.4. 3. SMH What technical signals should you watch for when analyzing SMH? Technical signals and analysis here. SMH's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 68. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SMH is 55%. When the stochastic oscillator stays between 50 and 80, it may indicate that the stock is experiencing a mild downtrend with some selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal could indicate that a stock is reaching a potential buying opportunity. Trend Outlook here SMH has a 46.6% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SMH has four bullish signals and three bearish signals. SMH's short-term support level is 204. If it falls below 204 during the session, it will have a chance to test 194.8. SMH's short-term resistance level is 216. If it breaks through 216 during the session, it will look up to 224. 4. GDXJ How has GDXJ performed according to technical data? Technical signals and analysis here. GDXJ's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 43. When the RSI is above 25 and below 50, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bearish. This means that the securities price has been falling but has not yet reached oversold levels, typically considered an RSI reading of 25 or lower. The current stochastic oscillator of GDXJ is 22%. It indicates that the stock is experiencing a strong downtrend and strong selling pressure. In this case, an oversold signal may indicate that a stock is hitting a temporary bottom, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the trend will reverse immediately. Trend Outlook here GDXJ has a 43.6% probability of rising stock price. When the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is relatively high. If the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the probability of stock rising is relatively high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, GDXJ has three bullish signals and four bearish signals. GDXJ's short-term support level is 31.2. If it falls below 31.2 during the session, it will have a chance to test 30.6. GDXJ's short-term resistance level is 32.8. If it breaks through 32.8 during the session, it will look up to 34.3. 5. Sky Is SKYY overbought or oversold according to technical data? Technical signals and analysis here.
Sky's 14-day relative strength index, RSI, value was 59. When the RSI is between 50 and 70, it generally indicates that the stock is moderately bullish. This means that the securities price has been rising but has not yet reached overbought levels, which are usually considered an RSI reading of 75 or higher. The current stochastic oscillator of SKYY is 94%. When the stochastic oscillator rises above the 80 level, it is usually considered overbought, indicating that the stock may be due for price pullback or pullback. An overbought condition occurs when a stock's price rises too fast and too high in a short period of time, and can be a sign that buying pressure has exhausted. Trend Outlook here. The probability of SKYY share price rising is 52.1%. When the probability of rising is higher than 50%, it means that the stock has a higher chance of rising. If the probability of rising is lower than 50%, it means that the probability of falling is high. Combining multiple technical analysis indicators, SKYY has five bullish signals and two bearish signals. Sky's short-term support level is 91.9. If it falls below 91.9 during the session, it will have a chance to test 90.8. Sky's short-term resistance level is 96.7. If it breaks through 96.7 during the session, it will look up to 98.8.